today we will learn structure of dna so before going to the structure we must know regarding history so the structure of the dna was first proposed by jd watson and f s creek in 1953 the double helical structure of dna based on which was based on the x ray diffraction data of dna fiber which are deduced by mhf wilkins and rosalind franklin in 1962 the three scientists jd watson f s creek and mhf wilkins awarded nobel prize for medicine for their work and you must ask why rosalind franklin was not awarded but she died of cancer and the nobel prize was not awarded posthumously so the three scientists they got nobel prize in 1962 for their work so frederick griffith in 1868 first discovered the nuclei of the surgical bandages the leukocytes the wbc and he found he named it as the nuclein later on the nucleic nuclein was found to be composed of protein and some organic acids and that organic acid was later named as nucleic acid and this nucleic acid is again two times the deoxy ribonucleic acid or dna and ribonucleic acid or rna so what is dna dna is the deoxy ribonucleic acid so first we learn regarding the dna this dna is a polymer polymer means it is made up of many more monomer so how the dna is a polymer the dna is a polynucleotide polynucleotide that means the dna is composed of two polynucleotide strand and each strand is made up of many nucleotides joined by phosphodiester bond so first we will see what is nucleotide though it is polynucleotide means it is made up of many nucleotide so first we will see what is nucleotide nucleotide means it is composed of pento sugar nitrogenous bases and phosphate radical so nucleotide composed of a molecule of pento sugar a nitrogenous bases and a phosphate radical there is another word known as nucleoside then what is the nucleoside nucleoside is equal to pento sugar and in nitrogenous bases that means what the nucleotide minus phosphate radical is a nucleoside i repeat the nucleotide minus p is equal to 
meet your side. Then we will see one after another. What is first we will see the Pento student. Pento sugar. Yes, the name is Pento sugar. That means it is a five carbon compound. The sugar is again the Pento sugar is again two type. What are they? Ribose sugar and deoxyribose sugar. The ribose sugar is present or formed in case of RNA and the deoxyribose sugar is formed in case of DNA. So what is the difference between the ribose sugar and the deoxyribose sugar? Let us see. So the ribose sugar is the 5 carbon compound so you can see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so in the here you can see the second carbon and the third carbon both is having a OH group but in case of this deoxyribose sugar the second carbon is only having a H group that means OH is replaced by a H that means one oxygen less than this so when if we will write the formula then what will be the formula here you can you write yourself so here in case of this ribose sugar we can write the formula by counting so number of carbon one two 3, 4 and 5 so 5 carbon H hydrogen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so 10 hydrogen then oxygen 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so the formula of the ribose sugar is C5, H10 and O5. Similarly also we can derive the formula from the deoxyribose sugar. In case of carbon 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 carbon. Hydrogen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So 10 hydrogen and oxygen 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the formula of the deoxyribose sugar is C5, H10 and O4. Then we see the cookering of the sugar. This pento sugar normally so cooking What is that cooking? It is non planar. The sugar is non planar. And this non planarity is known as cooking of the sugar. And this cooking is again two types twisted and envelope. In case of envelope one, the four atom, four atom lies in one plane and the fifth one, fifth 
fifth one away from you but in case of twisted one three atom lies in one plane and two atom away from it so this is known as the puckering of the sugar then we will see the next one the nitrogenous bases nitrogenous bases are again two type the purines and the pyrimidines these purines are double ring structure and these pyrimidines are single ring structure and these are heterocyclic compounds what do you mean by heterocyclic means the uh, it is composed composed of different atoms so the purine example of purine are adenine and guanine and the pyrimidines are thymine cytosine and uracil adenine guanine cytosine thymine and cytosine they are found in the dna but in case of rna uracil is found this is found only in rna in rna thymine is not found but instead of thymine uracil is found then we will see the structure the nitrogenous bases are two type purine and pyrimidines and the nitrogenous bases are they are heterocyclic planar and water insoluble aromatic molecules so the purines are two type that is the adenine and guanine so first we will see the adenine the adenine it is at purines are normally the double ring structure so here you can see two ring and the basic structure here you can see to remember two nitrogen here and two nitrogen here. so you can see here this is six amino purine means in the number 6 carbon there is one amino group so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this sixth carbon there is one amino group so it is known as six amino purine and this is the adenine this one is adenine then the second one you can see 1 so oxy amino this is oxy amino and this is the guanine the structure of guanine similarly you can see the pyrimidines there are three different pyrimidines like the thymine cytosine and uracil the first one you can see this is a single ring structure this one is single ring structure and you just remember here one two two nitrogen here in each ring you can see two nitrogen here the this one and this one this one and the this one so in the first case you can see it is 5 methyl 2 4 dioxy pyrimidine 5 methyl here you can see the 5 carbon fifth carbon is having a methyl group and 2 and 4 is having dioxy 2 oxy 
oxygen here so it is the thymine this one is the thymine and the second one 2 oxy 4 amino pyrimidine 2 oxy 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 2 oxy 2 carbon 2 is oxy oxygen and 4 amino here 4 in carbon 4 there is one amino so 2 oxy 4 amino pyrimidine and this is the cytosine then the third one here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 2 4 dioxy pyrimidine 2 and 4 2 oxygen so dioxy pyrimidine and this is the uracil structure so these are the nitrogenous bases which are found in the DNA but this uracil is found in case of RNA in case of RNA instead of this thymine uracil is found then we will see the phosphate radical the third one is the phosphate radical The phosphate radical is nothing but the phosphoric acid in aqueous condition. So the first it is having five valency and two is satisfied by oxygen and the rest three is by the hydroxyl group. So in aqueous condition, it releases hydrogen and it becomes negative. So the negativity of the DNA is comes from this phosphate ion. These are all about the composition of chemical composition of the DNA and the structure I will discuss in the next part. Thank you.